So here let me explain to you how do you subtract using two's complement method. To subtract a smaller number from a larger number using two's complement method, we need to first determine the two's complement of the smaller number. And we have to add the two's complement that is obtained to the larger number and discard the carry. In this case, when you are adding, you definitely will get a carry in this case. So if you get a carry, please discard the carry. Now let's take an example. Let's consider that we need to subtract 1011 from 1100. Okay, so let's follow the step. Given that, subtract 1011 from 1100. So from 1100, I need to subtract 1011. So my first step is determine the 2's complement of the smaller number. So I will determine the 2's complement of my second number. My second number is 1011. So the one, in order to find 2's complement, I need to find the 1's complement first and then add a 1 to it. The 1's complement of this, let me find the 1's complement of this. It's nothing but 0, 1, 0, 0. Now the 2's complement of this will be adding a 1 to it. So I will get 1 plus 0 is 1 and a 0, 1, 0. So the 2's complement of this is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, once you find the 2's complement of your second number, or in this case, a smaller number, I need to add this 2's complement to my first number, that is a larger number. So, let me add here, 1100. 0, 0. Let me add with that, the 2's complement, whatever you have, you have obtained here. The 2's complement is 0101. 0, 1. So, 0101. 0, 1. Now, let's uh, perform addition using the rules of addition. 1 plus 0 is a 1. 0 plus 0 is a 0. 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a carry. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is a 0 with a carry. So, you had 4 digit each in each of these numbers. You are getting a 5th digit. So, this is a carry. So, if you are getting a carry, you will get a carry in this case. And if you get a carry, we need to discard the carry. So, I am discarding the carry and my result is 0, 0, 0, 1. Alright, so this is in binary form and then uh, this is how you perform 2's complement subtraction when you are subtracting 2 numbers. Now, if you want to cross check whatever you have done is right, you can cross check by direct subtraction. Uh, so, in this case, I have these 2 numbers 1100 and 1011. So, let me directly subtract it 1100 minus 1011. So, uh, using the rules of subtraction, 0 minus 1, I cannot perform until I take a borrow, but there is nothing to take a borrow in the immediate neighbor. So, I take a borrow from here. This becomes a 0, this becomes a 1, 0. From here, again, I take a 1. So, this becomes a 1, 0 and this becomes a 1. Right? Because from I have a 2 here, I am taking a 1, so 2 changes to 1. Now, 1, 0 minus 1, nothing but 2 minus 1 is a 1. And 1 minus 1 is a 0. 0 minus 0 is a 0. 1 minus 1 is a 0. So, you are getting the same answer as you have got here. When you do a direct subtraction, uh, it is 0, 0, 0, 1, which is same as 2's complement subtraction. So, you can cross check your answer, whatever you have got is right or wrong by performing a direct subtraction and confirm that you have done it according to the rules of 2's complement subtraction. Yeah, that's all for this session. Let us come up with another video on 2's complement subtraction when you have to subtract a bigger number from a larger number. Thank you for listening.